All right, so I don't know about you guys, but this is something that I've been waiting for all week. The official Extreme Z Awakening details for the Fizz Final Form Cooler have been released by the official Dokkan Twitter page. A big shout out, of course, to Naresh for the extremely, extremely fast translations. I think he posted them about a minute and 15 seconds after they were revealed on the Japanese Twitter page. So yeah, huge props to him. It's quite insane to me, honestly, how quickly he does these. But uh, anyways, with that said, let's take a look at what Cooler can do. Now, as always, we are going to start by going over the pre eza details and then talk about the Extreme Z Awakening details so you guys can compare the two. So before the EZA, Cooler's leader skill is Extreme Fizz types keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100 and 20%, or Super Fizz types keep plus 1, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Uh, super attack, immense damage, and greatly lowers defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 100% launches an additional attack, which has a chance to become a super attack. And this was only a 10% chance for this additional attack to become a super, so not very often. And then in terms of stats, he maxed out at 16,525 HP, 15,950 attack, and 9,400 and 75 defense so okay stats um you know decent passive good super attack and obviously leader skill is standard for a 120 lead now with the extreme z awakening his leader skill becomes extreme fizz type key plus three hp attack and defense plus 130 percent super fizz types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 90 percent super attack immense damage and massively lowers defense so as compared to greatly lowers before which was a 50% debuff for three turns now it becomes massively which is an 80% debuff for three turns right so pretty big increase there and then passive is attack and defense plus 120% so that's going to be a 20% increase from before the EZA and then launches an additional attack that is a medium chance of becoming a super attack and this will be a 30% chance compared to a 10% chance before, so that's three times more likely for this additional attack to become a super. And then plus an additional attack and defense plus 8% with each attack performed up to 80%. And as far as his, um, his stats go, after the EZA, when rainbowed, he gets up to 20,053 HP, 19,422 attack, and 11,000 and 21 defense so there you go guys that is the extreme z awakening for cooler a very much highly anticipated eza by most people myself included even though i love gogeta even though uh, i was really excited for like you know super saiyan well super saiyan 3 broly was a bit of a disappointment he's still good he still has his uses don't get me wrong and i don't i don't want to make it seem like i'm like hating on him all the time it's just he could have been so much better, you know? But, um, yeah, I mean, Cooler was definitely the one that I was the most excited for when they started giving uh, 120 of these Extreme Sea Awakenings. And I gotta say, they did not disappoint. They did not disappoint. But with that said, I do wish his passive was a little bit more unique. Um, I think it would have given him something that maybe we hadn't seen before. I don't really know what it would have been, to be honest. But, you know, like some of these EZAs did introduce certain mechanics that were pretty different, right? That, like, kind of came out of left field. Like, for example, the AGL Super Vegito's ability to perceive super attacks via um, under 40% HP was uh, really, really useful. And also just kind of different, kind of something that people didn't see coming. So I was kind of hoping that Cooler would get some kind of unique attribute as well. But, I, but he did it. You know, his passive is kind of basic. Actually, it's very basic. But at the same time, it's really good. It's really, really good, guys. So, of course, 20% increase to attack and defense. And then we have the additional attack, which has a medium chance, of so 30% chance of becoming a super attack. And of course, you have to factor in the fact that he does have additional in his 
uh, hidden potential even with no dupes and then with four dupes you can get him up to you know level 20 additional so he's gonna be supering up to three times potentially but at least like every third turn he'll give you you know two supers possibly three right so that's gonna be nice to get those multiple supers and then on top of that he's getting more attack and defense with every attack performed and he's guaranteed at least two attacks every turn right so you're getting at least a you know eight percent buff to attack and defense every uh, times two every single turn and then after you know if you get unlucky you don't get any additionals from the hidden potential then after it would be uh, what's the math right now yo it's so late it's it's 4 15 a.m so my brain's not working properly but my math would say after like five turns right yeah so at, at most it'd be five turns to max out his pass no no not five turns five appearances five appearances because if he's attacking twice without the third attack then after five appearances you get two attacks per turn so um yeah it could take a while for him to stack up but in longer events of course in like the legendary goku event infinite dragon ball history he will be able to max out his passive somewhere along the line maybe like halfway through the event or something like that and when he is fully maxed out this guy is gonna be nuts man he is gonna be ridiculously busted like he's gonna be doing so much damage with up to two to three supers and he's gonna have a ton of defense too like a lot a lot of defense i mean you gotta factor in the fact that his stats are ridiculously high like he has 19,422 attack that's before a skill orb we can get him to almost or actually can get him to over uh 20,000 attack with you know two attack skill orbs and then for his defense 11,021 defense is impressive as well and of course good hp that always helps for overall team hp but these two stats are very very good so you combine that with this massive boost he's going to be getting and even even if you're not getting like the entire passive off you get you know like four stacks of this five stacks of this he's still going to be incredibly incredibly good right so um I'm I'm very impressed, man. I'm very impressed. As I said, I, I was hoping he would be a little bit more unique. I was hoping he would have something that we hadn't seen before, or at least something that's not super common. But uh, outside of the kind of basic nature of this EZA, there's nothing negative I can say. Like, he, I think, lived up to my expectations. I think he is going to be one of the best TURs in the game. Is he the best? That remains to be seen. I'm not ready to call him the best TUR in the game right now based on details on paper, but he's got to be up there, man. He's got to be top. He's got to be like top 5 in damage output. Or at least top 10. Okay, easily top 10 in damage output. Maybe top 5. He might crack the top 5, but we'll have to let the people that do the calculations determine that. Um, but his damage output is going to be insane. I can tell you that right now and then his defense will hold up for sure like he should be getting easily over 200,000 defense um maybe i'm even underselling him maybe like 250 300 we'll see right but when maxed out he should have a lot of defense a lot of attack and uh that's cooler for you man they did not disappoint could have been a little bit more unique though i, I know i've said that a lot but you always hope for some kind of different fun um you know aspect to these things but it, it's okay it's okay you know it's a it's an easy a for an old unit and yeah <laughs> as i said i have nothing bad to say about it let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of course i want to hear your opinions i want to hear your thoughts um are you as impressed with the easy a as i am or are you disappointed or are you just okay? Are you neutral? Uh, let me know what you guys think. Okay, in the comments. And uh, it's coming very soon for JP players. Dropping in about a day or so. A day and a half, maybe. Actually, let me... Uh, let's just go to the main page here. It should give us the date. Uh, let's see. Upcoming events. Upcoming cards. Upcoming cards. Okay, so June 8th. Oh, so in about two days. My bad. So roughly two days from the time this video comes out. 
That's when the cooler EZ will drop. And, um... Yeah, as far as global goes, of course, you have to wait for a bit, but that's normal. Probably after the anniversary, for sure. Uh, and then probably, I would say, end of the year, maybe sometime in November, October, we'll see this EZA on global as well. And, uh, you know, those showcases will, will be coming, you know, for sure. So stay tuned for an official look at uh, what Cooler is capable of. But I can tell you right now, he's going to be very, very impressive. Regardless of, um, you know, how, uh, whether he's boring or not. That's, of course, a personal opinion. And that's it. That's all I gotta say. I feel like I'm rambling a lot because I'm just dead tired. Like, it's 4.20 right now. A.M., right? So, I gotta go to bed. I gotta pass out. But I gotta get this video out, too, so you guys know what's up with the Cooler Easy A. Amazing amazing okay so that's it thank you guys so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and uh if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out